like chocolate, and I've always had um, an urge for chocolate, and I found the perfect recipe to satisfy that urge. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about the history of it. I'm going to teach you how to make it, and then I'm going to tell you how you can use it for special occasions. But the history of this fudge, it actually came on the back of this um, marshmallow cream jar a long time ago, and they took it off for a while, but it's actually back on it. But there's one special ingredient here that we have switched around a little bit to completely change this recipe. And my mom found it a long time ago, and she's been doing it, and it's kind of become a family tradition. And all of our neighbors and friends love it when the Christmas time comes around because they all anticipate our fudge. So we're going to learn how to make it real quick. The first thing we're going to do is put the butter in. So you want to take that off there. You want to melt the butter as quickly as you can. And then we're going to put the milk. It's a five ounce, it's one and a half sticks of butter, and then it's a five ounce can of evaporated milk. And we're going to put the sugar in. And this is three, three cups of sugar. Wow. Yeah, if you want to go ahead and take the lid off. Three cups of sugar. This is, yeah, all together is three cups of sugar. And then we're going to try to get this. What you want to do is um, put it up pretty high until you can get it to a, a boil.
is your chips. Remember, it's half a package of peanut butter, half a package of chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just going to stir that up. Stir that up until it melts. And then you're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. It's vanilla abstract or extract, whatever. Okay, you're going to add one teaspoon of that. Just keep stirring that up until that completely melts. Then once you get the, um, the chips melted, then you're going to put the last ingredient in, which is your marshmallow. And you just... Take the whole can and you put it in. You don't have to get every last bit or otherwise you, it would you'd be here forever. But just about 90% of the jar and you'll be all right. Okay, once you get that all mixed in, the last step you're going to do is put it in your pan.